Hello everyone. Once again, welcome back to my channel server again. My name is Dr. Lokendra Singh and today we are going to continue the remaining three videos which we have discussed about disaster recovery. So when we plan for disaster recovery, so at the time of planning, we need to prepare a checklist. Checklist for the particular services which we are trying to migrate. Moreover, in order to define the roles and responsibility of the particular persons who are going to be part of that activity. Right. So what are the particular things do we need to have on the on that checklist? So let's discuss about. So the very first thing here is we need to have a detailed DR testing plan when attempting to get approval and funding for the test funding. Because see, whenever we are going for DR drill, so at that moment we will need some extra manpower or if not extra manpower, so same manpower which is currently working in order to perform BAU. They may need to put some extra efforts in order to set up the particular DR site. DR stands for disaster recovery. So when they will set up DR sites, they, there will be some additional funding required in order to set up some servers to set up data center, firewall, router, switches and everything, right? So we need to have a detailed DR plan. Moreover, when the business team or the particular finance team is going to give you approval, so they would like to ask you your goals, like what would you achieve? So the very first thing here is we are going to uh, like uh, achieve disaster recovery site preparation, which means that if your major data center goes down, so at any given point in time, you will be in a position to run your services from disaster recovery site, DR site, which is called as. Moreover, what are your goal? What you are going to achieve? So let us say if there are some regulatory guidelines which says that we have some SLAs, we have some RTOs and RPO which we need to test in order to uh, showcase these artifacts to our customer, to auditor, to the particular vendors and all. So we need to perform this. This is a regulatory guideline. Moreover, what are the particular procedures you are going to follow? Like whether you are going to take all the like, let us say you have hundreds of applications running, hundreds of microservices running. So whether you are planning to take all the services with a single go or you will be taking like component by component, how you are planning it. Moreover, what kind of testing will be done or what kind of like ex ex like uh, what kind of expected result you are looking post doing DR drill, right? So that sort of thing uh, should be very clearly mentioned on the uh, like uh, this DR document. Moreover, put together a test team. So there has to be a group of people who are supposed to work on the particular migrated application side. So they should be informed well in advance, like what particular components to check let us say an application may have hundreds of thousands of features, right? So what major features the person is supposed to test? Then after, at the time of testing, what kind of artifact do they need to gather in order to display those artifacts that yes, we did a uh, drill and these are the artifacts of it. Then after, what is the plan? Are we really planning to do a particular like full time DR drill or we are planning to have a mock drill? Mock drill means like let us say for 30 minutes, for 60 minutes. But even before mock drill or your test drill, everything has to be planned in a proper manner. A particular communication has to be sent to all the stakeholders, whoever is are relevant. Moreover, determine exactly what to test. So there has to be a particular checklist for, for testing application functions like you can check whether backup is working on disaster recovery site as well. All the system like your router, switches, network. So resumptions of the employee uh, notification system. So let us say if any service goes down after migration to DR, right? So whether all the users are getting proper notification, they are getting proper emails. So what, what to test like you need to check whether your backup is working properly your service uh, degra de degradation notification is working properly. So these kind of things you guys need to check at the time of DR. Okay. Next thing here is carefully document and be prepared to edit your DR plan and disaster recovery testing script. So the very first thing, there has to be a dedicated person who is supposed to like write down point by point. Like let us say we are going to begin at 7 a.m. in the evening. So at 7 what we are going to do? How long is it going to take? We need to document it. So there has to be, there are two seats which we need to fill. 
so for, uh, the, the very first sheet will be like proposed plan and second thing will be actual execution so in parallel we need to write we need to write and update both the sheets so what is going to happen here the very first sheet will let you know that this much time is expected and how uh, second sheet will tell you like how much exact time is taken so m o m minutes of meeting the same way over here we are going to define minutes of dr activity every single minute what is happening let us say we expected that we will take 5 minutes in order to switch traffic from dc to dr but it took 10 minutes right so you will note it down within your second sheet that a proposed time was 5 minutes but time taken is 10 minutes moreover when you were doing a switch over of your database proposed time was 20 minutes but actually it was uh, done within 15 minutes right so sometime it is going to take extra time sometime uh, within some processes it is going to take less time uh, less time so that particular actual time taken during the activity has to be planned and why is that so guys because later on we will be reviewing it like team will review it that what went wrong why we could not execute this properly let us say the particular person who was supposed to execute uh, was not available on the call or the particular person did was on the call but did not have proper access or the particular service configuration did not uh, did not work as expected so what went wrong so we need to capture these kind of things and we need to analyze it because see like this is a particular repetitive activity maybe like quarterly uh, by year, like uh, every six months or yearly so we need to have a proper checklist for that okay Include all relevant technology elements and process being you being tested in a in the plan. So whenever we are going to do DR drill, so all include all uh, technology element has to be included here, like DB application, front end, back end, network, everything has to be tested. Moreover, ensure that the environment is ready, available, and won't affect production systems before starting. So there should not be a particular situation that we have set up an environment and we have started sending traffic there. So we have to be very, very sure that even after the environment is created, it is not going to serve any kind of traffic until and until we want that explicit traffic has to be served from here. So we have to set up the environment in such a way, make sure testing doesn't conflict with any other activities or test right so the particular dr environment which we have tested so that should not be accepting traffic from anywhere until and unless uh, there is a particular cutover planned cutover means when you are going to change the particular network from your dc to dr side scheduler dr test before going for actual dr so we can plan for maybe like in a day or two advance we can plan for your DR test what does that mean so when we are going to do DR test we will get to know like whether all users have access to these servers or not although these are the particular things which are supposed to be known in advance but let us say during DR test there could be problem there could be age use case where the particular connectivity for a single service is not available there is a particular service which is taking a lot of time to initiate database connection there is a particular service which is not uh, synced with N with NTP so couple of situation may arise during your DR. So before running actual DR, we need to run maybe a particular DR test for maybe for an hour or let us say we can also capture the particular activities done during that particular moment. So rather than going for actual DR deal, we should plan for DR test. Moreover, you can uh, perform a dry run or a practice exercise before the DR, DR test goes live to uncover and fix potential problems so the same thing I, i'm suggesting here that we should go for a dry run moreover all the stake members who are supposed to perform their respective tasks during the particular dr activity they have to be aligned in a proper manner then after designate a timekeeper so the part thing which i was telling like minute of minute of this dr plan has to be captured so that we can designate a timekeeper to start to record the start and end time of the scribe to take the notes to help prepare a test after action report 
देन आफ्टर अपडेट डिजास्टर रिकवरी एंड बिजनेस कंटिन्यूटी प्लान बिजनेस बी सी पी एंड अदर डॉक्यूमेंट बेस्ड ऑन द वर्ड्स बीन लर्न फ्रॉम द डी आर टेस्ट सो दिस इज हाउ वी प्लान फॉर अ डिजास्टर रिकवरी टेस्टिंग चेकलिस्ट एंड अ साइड टू दिस वी हैव टू बी वेरी वेरी केयरफुल फॉर कैप्चरिंग ऑल द पॉइंट्स वी हैव टू बी केयरफुल अबाउट चेकिंग द कनेक्टिविटी रूल्स एंड रेस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी द एक्चुअल टाइम थाट ऑफ एक्चुअल टाइम टेकन एंड लाइक हु परफॉर्म वॉट हु वॉज नॉट एबल टू परफॉर्म इफ द पर्सन वॉज नॉट एबल टू परफॉर्म एनी थिंग वाई वाई इज इट सो वॉट इज द रीजन बिहाइंड बिहाइंड इट हाउ वी कैन इम्प्रोवाइज इट गोइंग फॉरवर्ड सो दैट काइंड ऑफ थिंग्स हैज टू बी डिस्कस्ड आफ्टर परफॉर्मिंग योर डी आर ड्रिल एक्टिविटी और आफ्टर परफॉर्मिंग योर डी आर टेस्ट एक्टिविटी राइट सो आई होप दैट इज इट फॉर दिस वीडियो गाइज थैंक यू सो वेरी मच फॉर वॉचिंग हैव अ गुड टाइम एंड हैप्पी लर्निंग If you have any further questions so please do write in comment box i shall be happy to assist you on that have a good time thank you